All right. Thank you, everyone, for joining us at our the closing press conference for the World Economic Forum on ASEAN. This is our 27th meeting in the region. Uh, welcome, uh, Mr. Bogo Brenda, our president of the World Economic Forum. Uh, His Excellency Bui Tan Sun, Standing Vice Minister, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and very important, head of the organizing committee of this event. I would like to ask uh, Mr. Brenda to first um, give us an impression of how did it go the last two and a half days? Thank you, uh, Fon. Uh, thank you uh, to also uh, all the uh, media uh, for um, your hard work uh, during the three last days. Thank you also to the government of um, Vietnam that we have worked so closely with. This was our 27th uh, summit on ASEAN. And it has been a remarkable uh, summit. It has been a lot of optimism here. When you watch the news from other places in the world, that's not always the case. But ASEAN is still uh, mo moving very fast and growing very fast. And Vietnam has 7% uh, economic growth expected uh, this year. And um, it's also been uh, quite an incredible um, travel uh, and journey uh, for Vietnam since last time we were here. We had a summit in uh, Vietnam uh, in 2010. And uh, since then, the GDP of Vietnam has almost doubled in eight years. At the same time, uh, we also have seen increased poverty uh, eradication. In 1990, 50% of the population in this country was living in poverty. Today, it is less than 5%. This has been an incredible journey, and we also have seen um, a lot of interest uh, from uh, global businesses uh, to come here. It was nine head of states and head of governments, more than 1,000 participants, also a lot of international business uh, was participating here. So I was, um, I, I was very pleased uh, with this uh, summit and the cooperation uh, with um, Vietnam and also with the vice minister that has had a, been heading uh, the organizing committee has done an um, outstanding job. His Excellency. Uh, may I speak uh, in... Uh, oh, yes, okay. <laughs> Vietnamese, yes. so that I can yes. address to the audience. Uh, first of all, I would like to be on behalf of the uh, uh, Vietnam's government to thank the uh, WEF and uh, the media people for having uh, working with us very closely. Yeah, you especially the media people who have been working with us for the broadcast of the uh, developments and the developments of the WEF uh, on two thousand um, on ASEAN in two thousand eighteen, and the context have been set. And uh, so far, we should say that the uh, the WEF 2018 have been the success. The success uh, we have been successful in terms of the items in the agenda, and we have been successful in terms of the uh, communication and the messages that reach out to the business community and to the citizens, not only in Vietnam, but also in Southeast Asia and wider in the entire globe. And we very much also appreciate the uh, people who have been involved in supporting the security jobs, the logistics, every arrangement to make sure that we have the very successful WEF. And uh, during the lunch time, we have been working with uh, Mr. Brander and also the founder of the WEF. We very much appreciated everyone who had already contributed to the success of the WEF 2018. The, uh, uh, Mr. Klaus Schwab, the founders of WEF, said that uh, the, after, uh, after 27 years of the WEF for East Asia and for ASEAN, and this is the most successful event ever. It is uh, successful because we have the very appropriate topics chosen for WEF 2018. As Mr. Render already said, 
Brenda already said, it's really very much suitable topics for ASEAN and for Vietnam, especially in the context that every nation have been uh, have to try harder so that we can catch up to the requirements of the IR 4.0. And the uh, ASEAN region are uh, trying to develop the uh, ve the uh, very solid and very f uh, prosperous with the co prosperity of the entire regions, and that requires a great support and the hand joined by the different countries, governments, and business communities, and the nine leaders of the uh, Southeast Asia countries and from other regions came to the WEF 2018. And so more than 1,000 of the representatives of the corporation and groups internationally already came to Vietnam to express their great interest in the regions. Number three, we have the high commitment uh, reflected in the presence of the high-ranking government officials of Vietnam. Uh, we have the uh, the Secretary General of the Communist Party of Vietnam, Mr. Nguyen Phu Chong, already attended the closing ceremony of WEF 2018. And also the members of the company, including the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Ministers, and seven ministers of Vietnam already joined the different session of the WEF 2018. They tried to contribute the background and also the experience of Vietnam, and also to try to be shared with the experience of ASEAN countries and of also of other region countries of how can we be more resilient to the uh, external shocks and also to be in line with the requirements of the IR 4.0. Uh, this morning, the founder of the WEF, Mr. Klaus Schwab, already informed the government of Vietnam that by noon today, there were 700 uh, 7,890 uh, articles and, uh, the, and uh, the newspaper articles about Web 2018. And compared with 2017, it was only more than 2,000 articles. And by, by noon today, uh, the figures was already up to 8,000 people and up to uh, 7 million people already view the different developments in our webcast and in the websites and we also have a lot of the visits of the comments on the Facebook and also 90 uh, rounds and visits of people who look at the, uh, the different events in the webcast. So this is really something that the founders of WEB already informed the Prime Minister of Vietnam. It means that the entire community have been very much interested in the, the development, any developments of the WEF 2018 in Vietnam. Once again, we would like to thank the mass media people who have been working with us during the uh, WEF 2018 here. And your contribution is to try to uh, inform the Vietnamese people to uh, also to inform the government agencies here in Vietnam of uh, the need to uh, develop the e-government so that we can best support the business community so that we can improve the competitiveness of the Vietnamese businesses, businesses and also to contribute to uh, the improvement of the solidarity and to develop the prosperous uh, ASEAN community in the future. Thank you very much. I don't have too much time. Uh, you will see from the closing press release that we list a lot of activities and, and um, initiatives and, and projects that we're working on. So please do visit that. And I'd like to thank again, Vice Minister Poger, and perhaps a uh, check hand shot for yes. to close this up. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, the media. Thank you, uh, Bosch. My thank you, uh, great friends who uh, work very closely with us for the success of this web. ASEAN 2018. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And congratulations. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Leave this one.